Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Link Cuisine comfort foods. This one is the Chicken Ranch Club Flatbread Melt. It is white meat chicken, tomato, bacon, and, and ranch sauce in a flavorful uh, flatbread. 19 grams of protein, 410 calories. There's what it's supposed to look like. It looks good. Um, Meyer for $2.79. Not too bad a price at all. Okay, so like I said, 410 calories for the, for the whole sandwich. The flatbread. Here's your other stuff. So, let me make this thing. Okay, here's the directions. I don't see oven directions, so it's just, must be on the, just in the microwave. So you're gonna open the carton along the perforations and flip the empty box upside down and create a platform. I'll show you how to do that. Um, remove the plastic over wrap and place the flatbread on the silver surface. Cook for two minutes and 30 seconds on high until the cheese is melted and let it sit for a minute. Then you're supposed to fold the flatbed bread together and then enjoy it. And it says, be careful, it's gonna be hot. So, one side of this is gonna have a pull tab right here. Let's hope this one works better than the last time I did this. So you're supposed to be able to pull this up. Probably works better when you got two hands, but that would just not be any fun at all. Okay, here we go. So this side's gonna do it. That's on. Um, it's always one little piece of cardboard that's not one that separate. There we go. That's on. Um, and there's the flatbread, and there's the box. And you basically take this out, it's like a little pizza, and you fold your box inside out basically. This is the bottom of it. And then you're going to take this out of the plastic wrap and sit it on top of this and microwave it. And um, yeah, it looks, looks pretty decent. It's kind of like a pizza, but it doesn't have sauce and stuff on it. And the bread's probably a little different. So I'm going to get this out of the package, put it on this tray, put it in the microwave, and I'll be back when it comes out. All right, here it is out of the microwave. And I usually just take a knife and kind of run around the edges because it usually gets stuck in a few spots. And then um, you're supposed to be able to fold it. I'm not gonna be able to fold it with, with one hand. But anyway, I'm gonna fold this in half and then I'm gonna put it on just a paper plate so I can eat it a little bit easier. I'll probably just cut it in half too. So anyway, I'll fold it and I'll show you what it looks like uh, when I get done. All right, I decided not to fold it at all because it was just too thick. It had too many toppings on it. And when you fold it up, it was just gonna make a mess. So I just ended up cutting it up like a pizza. That's how I'm gonna eat it. Um, you know, just slices like a pizza. Uh, I've I've done other flatbreads like that too. And the sandwich, like the panini sandwiches where they say to put the top on the bottom, I usually just leave it open and just cut it like an open face sandwich and eat it that way. It seems like it's twice as much food and it's easier to eat. So here we go. Um. I like the textures. It's a little plain. It's a little boring. I think it's supposed to have like a, a ranch. I don't really get a ranch flavor at all. Hmm. The chicken really doesn't have a lot of flavor. The, um, what I taste mostly is peppers, like the green and red peppers I taste, and the tomatoes. The peppers and the tomatoes. Is that a tomato? It looks like a tomato. I think it's a tomato. That's what it tastes like at least is a tomato. I like the crust. And when you get a piece of the bacon, you can taste the bacon. But the chicken itself really doesn't have a lot of flavor. That's when you drop a piece on the floor. Yeah, I like the, whatever the red ones are. I think they feel like tomatoes. No, they may be a pepper. Anyway, uh, whatever the red ones are, they taste like a, a vegetable, you know, like a pepper or, or um, I don't think they're acidic as a tomato. I don't have the box anymore, so I threw it in the garbage. Um, this is pretty plain. I mean, pretty boring. The sauce could have been elevated a lot higher than it is. It's very, very plain. 
it's sad that the crust has as much flavor as all the toppings together, um, which is sad. The bites of the pepper taste good, and when you get pieces of bacon, that's pretty good. Chicken is pretty bland and a little dry. Yeah, it's just boring. I'm gonna give it a three. It's not a bad meal. I think it'll be filling. Like you'll be you'll be full when you eat it. And um, the crust is really good. I love the texture of the crust. It's like a um, a crusty like pizza bread, but it's not as crispy. It's softer. So I like that, like a pizza crust. But um, yeah, the flavors are just way too boring. And um, if it's supposed to be ranch, it doesn't have hardly any flavor like that at all on it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna stick with a three. Try it if you want to, but you're not missing anything if you don't. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Okay, no, it sounds stupid, but I went and looked at the box. It is tomato. That's what I thought it was. It had a tomato -y kind of feel to it, but it, even just for me not being able to identify for sure if that's a pepper or a tomato, um, tells you that it's not a lot of flavor. Um, the texture is there, but it's just, um, the tomato doesn't really taste much like a tomato. Um, you get a little bit of that vegetable -y kind of flavor, but you, you can't identify what kind of vegetable it is. That's sad. But yeah, you get a little bit of that pepper, tomato -y kind of flavor. That's about it. I mean, it's very, very bland. And for ranch, it does say it's a ranch um, sandwich, flatbread. There's not much ranch flavor at all. I mean, it's maybe a slight ranch flavor, but not much. So anyway, just wanted to clarify because I want to check the box to make sure I didn't have the wrong, uh, the wrong like flavors and ingredients. And I was right. It was tomato. Pep the flavors is not there. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. Catch you next time.